EAFC is back! Yeah! Yes, that is right. We are here with FC25 and we're going to kick this off straight away with taking over Portsmouth FC for 10 seasons. We're going to be setting these goals. We're going to be trying to win the Premier League, uh, winning at least eight trophies with them and uh, the ultimate goal, winning the Champions League. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. And let's get straight into this. Woo! All right, so now we're in the career mode and um, look at everything new here. All right, so this is the team we will be starting with. So um, I'm going to go ahead and sell some players and then I will try and bring in some new ones. Matt Ritchie doesn't have a player face. Really? Let's have a look at our youth academy. Yeah, I mean... We have got this insane 49 rated um, player who um, looks a bit creepy in my opinion. And we've sold our first player in Connor Shalganesi. Alright, so got about 3 million right now. And I'm going to have a look at a very cheap good striker. Okay, wait. So I've just found Mark Giyu who plays for Chelsea. And uh, I think he... Should be a pretty good signing. I'll scout him and see if he's in our budget. And we've just loaned out one of our young players, young midfielders, and uh, yeah, hopefully he grows. Okay, wait, so he is in our budget. He's 2.2 million. Let's try and sign him. All right, we didn't have enough wages, sadly. Oh my God. We sold another one of our left backs for about 830K, which means Giyu should still be good enough to sign. Ethan Wheatley is still an option though. So we'll try Mark Giyu once again. And yes, we actually should have enough wages for Mark Giyu. Welcome to Portsmouth FC. So this should be the final team. Hopefully we don't get relegated. All right, we are at the end of the season. Let's see what's happened. 19th, we survived relegation, come on. Somehow Watford nearly got relegated. But all the squads are looking alright. Not many people grew as much as I wanted them to. But yeah, let's get into season two. Alright, so looking at the squad, I think the only improvement really is a CDM and maybe a good enough goalkeeper if we have enough money. In which, boys, we've only got 5 million for um, this transfer window. So let's see what we can have a look at. Okay, so I see Arthur Piedfort. I think he'll be a great defensive midfielder. And, uh, yeah, he's young, he's got potential, and, uh, yeah, we'll sign him. And I've just seen this goalkeeper, Fran Gonzalez. He's hopefully going to be a good goalkeeper. He's six foot six, he's got good potential, and his contract is expiring in 12 months. We've sold one of our backup strikers, so we can bring in more money. Abdule Kamara. You know what, I don't think I'm going to use him for the rest of the current mode, so we'll, we'll keep him in there. But I want to go for a cheaper transfer of some 870k. There we go. And just like that, we've signed a new CDM in Arthur Piedfort. You can give us room for signing a better goalkeeper, Diego Calai from Sporting. Tell you what, that's perfect. We've got a really good goalkeeper on our hands now. We've got a 72 rated keeper. All right, so this is the new squad. It looks much better now. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's sim the season. All right, it is the end of season two. Let's see where we finished. 20th. Oh my God, we did. Somehow we did worse. Oh my God, we got a 75 rated goalkeeper now. Can I upgrade plus three? But yeah, 20th is still quite bad. Let's get on to season three. All right, so far it's not looking good. All right, so what could we improve with this team? We could go over new left mid because Murphy's getting old now. He's and also maybe bring in a new striker because I don't think Giyu's going to perform well. And yet, the board is not on our side again. Will Norris has been sold our backup keeper. And same with Mark Giyu. Oh my god. You're, you're, you're such a stingy little twi- Oh my god, wait, he's 3.9 million? Ethan Wheatley to Portsmouth, there we land. There we land. Scully's been sold. Josh Murphy's been sold to Coventry for just under a mil as well. 70 or higher, we'll take 70 or higher. He's 72, get in. All right, so there we go, there's the squad. We're looking better now. Our goalkeeper is 76 rated. 
Look, let's sim the season. Let's sim season three. All right, we're at the end of season three. We are in 2027 now. Let's see where we finish. 15th. Okay, that's better than we usually have done. That's much better, but still not high enough. We need to get higher. Now, as we can see, Salai, I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's 78 rated now, which is absolutely unbelievable. Paul is 73. Pharrell is 75. Um, Tyreek George is 75. Wheatley is 75. I forgot to look at top scorer last season, but top scorer this season is Ethan Wheatley. All right, so we're in season four now. Let's have a look on what we can improve in the squad. Salah is now 78, Jesus. I think we should 100% get a new CDM and also maybe a new cam as well because I think Butch is just free for like a backup cam situation. And yet we still don't have the board on our side. We still only get, but we st we got less than last year. Uh, Moxon can just stay there. Yo, I've just found this insane free agent, Aslani. I've heard of him. I know this is kind of cheating signing free agents, but shut up, this is my channel. What rating is he? Oh my god, he's 80 rated. He's 80 rated. Welcome to the club. 80 rated. That is a wonderful signing. Our first transfer out of this season. And there we go. We've just made a centre-back signing. Luka Vaskovic. Oh, yeah. And we've also signed a backup centre-back. All right. This is the squad going into Season 4. My prediction, we're going to finish 7th. All right. So, we are at the end of the season. Hopefully, we've done much better 12th. Oh, my God. Why are we just staying mid-table? Why can't we just get promoted? Oh, my. How is this team not getting promoted, by the way? Let's get into season five. All right, so what do we need to do for this season then? I think definitely a new center back and a new cam. All right, Callum Lang's been sold. There we go, we have signed a new 73 rated cam. Hopefully he'll help us gain promotion. Francis Onyeka from Strasbourg. Now I swear if this team does not get promoted, I'm going to be fuming. All right, we have reached the end of the season hopefully we have finally got to the premier league let's find out yes we've done it premier league here we come we tied on points with leeds united we're second place we're in the premier league come on and oh my god ethan wheatley looks like a beast everyone just looks really good except for pool and williams to be fair but anyways we are now officially in the prem First, we are ready for season six. All right, in the Premier League, we are in. Let's have a look at some improvements that we can make. First of all, definitely going to need a new centre back. Paul, he's been here for every single season, and it's it's sadly time for him to go. He will be 110% missed. He was a great player. And how much money are we going to use for that centre back? We got 42 million. That is pretty good. All right, there we go. We've just signed an 80-rated centre-back. We're not going to get relegated now. We're fine. We're good. We don't have to panic. But anyways, let's sim the season. All right, we're at the end of season six. Now, our only goal for this season is to just survive the Premier League. And... Oh, you're bloody joking. We've just been relegated. With this team, I don't under... Pack this season. How much money have we got? Let's just find out. 60 million budget. And the position that I'm immediately going to sign is right back. And we have just signed a new right back into the club. He's 82 rated. So, yeah, we are definitely securing promotion this season. If we don't secure promotion, I'm going to be fuming. We've tied a backup striker now. And, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. All right, we are at the end of the season. Come on, just show me it. Show oh my God, we won the FA Cup. <laughs> That's trophy number one. That's trophy number one. Judging by us winning the FA Cup, who did we win against? Spurs. We won against Spurs. Okay, all right. But did we win the championship? Yep. That's trophy number two. I know it's the championship, but still trophy number two. We won and oh my God, Ethan Wheatley's 89 rated. Also, look at this team! What? Look at this team! Anyways, let's get to Season 8. Now we're into Season 8. How much money do we have? 66 million. That's pretty good. 
And what do we need to improve for the squad? I reckon just left back. Like, if we get a solid left back, then we should be good. With the bonus. And we have just signed Lewis Hall, 85 rated left back. We're going to get top 10 this season. We're going to get Champions League. We're going to win the FA Cup. We're going to win Carabao Cup. We're going to win the Prem. And we are going to be the best club in the world. All right, now that we've got an actual good left back, no one in the starting 11 is below 81 rated. That's how you know this team is good now. All right, I'm going to put development plans on and we're going to sim the season. All right, we are at the end of the eighth season. Let's see where we finished. We finished mid-table 11th. Okay, that's not too bad. At least we didn't get relegated, but still quite disappointing. Man City win the league. We won the Community Shield. We'll actually count that as a trophy. That's three trophies. Welcome to what rating is Ethan Wheatley? He is 92. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my god. We're living life. Alright, so how much money have we got? If, remember, if we have 100 million, then we'll lock on both a right mid and a CDM. We're 43! And um, we've just signed Oliver, and, uh, yeah, he's gonna fit straight into the team. I swear, if we do not win anything, then this is just an absolute piss take. Good. Wheatley's 92. Alright, let's sim the ninth season. Alright, we're at the end of season 9. We got 6th! We got Europa League! Alright, oh wait, no, that's... <laughs> oh, we did get 6th! <laughs> Let's have a look at the squad now. Oh my god. Even Wheatley 93. George 93. Vuskovic at an 89. What is this team, man? This team is just insane. Alright, well, let's get into season 10, where sadly we can't get to eight trophies. So uh yeah, the only realistic option left is to win the Prem. So I'm gonna go all out to win the Prem. Alright, so we are in the tenth and final season how much money do we have 57 million that's not the best and guess what i'm gonna do i'm going to try my hardest to sign my youngster kobe Mainu. come on yes they're actually willing to offer him okay good 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 we've just signed kobe Mainu to portsmouth that is our one and only signing we don't need to sign anyone else and there we have it this is going to be the squad going into the final season. I, uh, just ignore the bench, please. Ignore the bench. Anyways, let's sim the final season. Alright, we are at the end of the last season. I'm not going to know where we finish in the Prem. We're going to do a reveal together. Alright, so down at the bottom. Everton, Brentford, Wolves, Burnley, Ipswich, Nottingham Forest, Newcastle, Leicester. Alright, we're not in the bottom half. Okay. Alright, 12th, Crystal Palace. 11th, West Ham. 10, Man United. 9, Brighton. 8 Arsenal, 7 Liverpool, 6 Aston Villa, 5th Chelsea, 4th Spurs, 3rd City, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, wait, who, who would be 2nd then, there's no way, Fulham, they're either 2nd or they've won the league, come on, can we do it, we've done it, get in, we won the Premier League in the final season, Oh my god, that feels so good. We've finally done it. And this is what the final team looks like. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe. This video took five hours to record and some are going to be the other 10 season takeovers. What 10 season takeover should I do next? Vote in the poll in the community post. There's going to be four in there. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next 10 season takeover. And also there's going to be a Minecraft video Wednesday. Look for that.